Today we're going to review how to find the area of mixed figures. We'll start with a square. Now in order for something to be a square, it has to have four 90 degree angles, it has to have all equal lengths, and it has to have two sets of parallel lines. So this would be a square. So how to find the area of a square is you would use the formula area equals the base times the height. Okay, so the base is the bottom that's down here. This is the base and this is the height. So you just want to see how, uh, how long the base is. One, two, three. So the base is equal to three and the height is equal to also three because it's a square. So area equals the base is three, the height is three, so the area of the square would equal nine. And you want to have some sort of unit, whether it, it's meters, inches, whatever it is. For this, we'll just say it's unit, and we'll say squared. So nine units squared. A rectangle. A rectangle is very similar to a square. It has four 90-degree angles. It has two sets of parallel lines. But the thing that makes it a little bit different is that it doesn't have four equal lengths, four equal sides. But it's the same formula. Area equals base times height. So that kind of makes it easy. So count the base. One, two, three, four, five. It's five units long. And one, two, three units high. And this time we'll call it meters. All right, so area equals base times height. The base, the bottom is five. The height is three, so the area of this rectangle would be 15 meters, and then you always square the meter. All right, the last one is a parallelogram. And a parallelogram is basically the same as these, so all of these are parallelograms as well. And the only thing that you need in order for it to be a parallelogram is two sets of parallel lines. That's it. So that would be a parallelogram, and that would also be a parallelogram. Now, luckily, it's exactly the same formula, base times height. So count the base, one, two, three, four, five, six. And this time we'll do inches. Now in order to figure out the height, it's not the slanted height. So when your, your mom or your dad or your parent or guardian uh, wants to um, see how tall you are, you don't stand at a slant, a slant, right? You stand directly straight up. So you wanna look for the height in here. So the height is gonna be in here, and this is two units tall. So the height would be two. Now sometimes the height is on the inside and sometimes it's on the outside. But wherever it, wherever it is, you wanna look for that dotted line and you wanna look for the little 90 degree box that shows that that's the height. All right, so area equals um, base is six, the height is two, and area would be 12, and this time I called it inches, inches squared. And that's how you find the height or find the area of a four-sided figure. All right, we're going to move on to a triangle and a trapezoid. Now, the triangle is very similar. You can still use base times height, but you have to cut it in half. And I'm going to show you why. So let's look at this. If I did a dotted line here to here, it looks like a rectangle, right? It might actually be a square. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. So it has five on the bottom. One, two, three, four. On the, oh, so it's a rectangle. It doesn't have four equal sides. So this looks like a rectangle, and if I just cut it in half, I get the triangle. So I would get this part right here. So a triangle is half of a rectangle. So you can use the same formula, but just remember, divide by two because you have two triangles in a rectangle. All right, area equals the base bottom is five, the height is four, but don't forget, divide it by two. So that would equal five times four is 20, divide by two, and that would equal 10. And we need to have some sort of unit. This time I'll say meters again. So I'll also say 10 meters squared, and that would be the answer. Here's another triangle. Now this time we don't have a nice straight height up and down. I should probably put that 90 degree angle right there. We don't have a straight 90 degree angle right there for the height. So they will draw in the height. You want to look for that dotted line with a little 90 degree mark on there. And then they'll give you the height here. Let me give you the base first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, and we'll say feet. And the height is one, two, three, four. Four feet. 
Okay, let's do the formula. Area equals base times height, just like all the other ones, all the four-sided figures. But don't forget, divide by 2. So that equals base is 10. The height is 4. And then don't forget, divide by 2. So we get 10 times 4 is 40 divided by 2. And 40 divided by 2 is 20. So the area would be 20. And then you have feet squared. Now trapezoid is probably the most complicated one um, because not only do you have this height right here, so let me draw the height in, and that height would be one, two, three, four again. And we'll do meters. But this time you have, just like the triangle, you have a base here. And then this has a point on the top, but this actually has two bases. And typically you call this base one and base two base sub one and base sub two. It's called a subscript because it's on the bottom. It's kind of like an exponent, but down below. So here the base is one, two, three, four. So this base is four, and this base is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so it's kind of like a triangle. It almost looks like a triangle if you just have the little top cut off right here. So use the same formula for the triangle, but we're gonna alter it a little tiny bit. So we're going to do base times height divided by 2. That looks like the triangle. But for this part right here, this base part, we're going to add the two bases together. Okay, so it's going to be base sub 1 plus base sub 2. All right, area equals uh, base sub 1 is 4 plus base sub 2 is 8. So we're going to add the bases together and then times it by the height, which is 4 and then divide the whole answer by two. You use order of operations, so please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, subtract. Remember that these are interchangeable, or these come for, whoever comes first in the problem will go first, and the same thing with these. So area equals P, parentheses. I have parentheses right here. I'm gonna add those together. Eight plus four is 12. And then I'm going to times by 4 and divide by 2. So area equals, now I'm going to, I have parentheses are done, no exponents, multiply. 12 times 4 is 48. And now I can divide by 2 and I get an area of 24. And I think I said meters, so it's 24 meters squared. So the main important formula you need for area of mixed figures is base times height. All four-sided figures are just base times height. Make sure you use the correct height and not the slanted height. When you want to go to a triangle, it's very similar, base times height, but just cut it in half. And then when you go to a trapezoid, it's very similar to that one, but instead of base right here, you're going to add the two bases together. All right, and that's the, uh, that is the area of mixed shapes. We're not going to do circles on this one because it gets a little bit more complicated. That will be another video.